guys welcome back to my channel so i felt like the last video i didn't really get to fully explain everything that was going on so i figured let me add this in as an additional clip so you guys can pretty much get the gist of what happened so um i went and got my stitches removed which made it the two weeks and i want to say what is it two days because i went wednesday to take them out and monday had made it the official two weeks of since i had my surgery slash post up uh while taking those stitches off ouch i don't know why i underestimated stitches being like painful like that so i couldn't even finish recording um because i was Trying to like distract my mind like me recording wasn't enough distraction like doctor was trying to talk to me and everything and it just wasn't distracting enough um so yeah i felt that i do feel like with the stitches being gone now like my knee feels different um I, like it, it it almost feels like i lost a sense of support from it being there only because I feel like it's a mind thing because I got used to it being there so yeah so it felt like different um guys I'm not gonna lie to you the most challenging thing that I'm trying to overcome right now is actually taking a shower like a full shower I've been doing in my native language we say toilet um but bird baths and like you know scrubbing down without being in the actual shower standing up because the way that my leg feel i don't trust it it feels very flimsy um it doesn't feel supportive so it's like i'm not going to do that because i don't want to set myself backwards so i'm pretty much like really listening to my body I just ordered um, a shower chair, so I'm gonna keep you guys updated to show you how it looks and let you know how it assists me with this process because um, this is a challenging one. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Also, what else did I wanna talk about? So the doctor um, removed the stitches. Then he told me gradually I will start to wean off of the brace and of the crutches. So I have been practicing without the crutches to do like weight bearing. Oh, that was another thing. I was, I'm able now to increase my weight bearing. So at first, those first couple of weeks, I had to walk on the balls of my feet for not putting any weight on my leg whatsoever and really putting the weight on the crutches and my stronger side so and the uninjured side strong and uninjured side so um i got the clearance as well to now practicing bearing weight on the full foot so now i'm able to walk you know feet planted so i'm the type of person that kind of walks like this almost like my heel leads then my um my ball balls of my feet goes so um i'm able to like actually put it all the way down so it's you know, just trying to get comfortable over my, my muscles like hey you are going to be using that <laughs> okay so don't get too comfortable with not using it at all so we've been doing that so that was approved um the next thing that I want to touch base on, I need to start writing down everything. I say this all the time, but I like to be very authentic and like allow you guys to feel me. Feel me like, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm so, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say organized because organization is definitely good but I don't want to sound so commercialized, rather. 
I think that's the proper terminology that um, that resonates, that comes to mind when I say that. So, what you see is what you get. Some days, look, I'm already bouncing off another topic. You see that? That's how my brain be going. But you see, you gonna see the, the cute side of me. You gonna see the toe up side of me. And you know, just all parts of me. Just all parts of me. Um, but yeah, so I do have the five incisions. He did put the strips back on them. Let me show you guys real briefly, even though there's clips on it already, but he put the clip, um, those strips on for me. They're gonna pretty much fall on its own and stuff, and it's still pretty swollen, and it's so tender, like it's so, like, it almost feel like, I mean, this is gonna sound like duh, but, like it has fluid in there, and, if, and in fact, it does. Like, you can definitely feel it, and you can see it as well. My ankles also are still swollen, um, but that's because I'm not doing much movement. Even though I feel like I am, but now I'm gonna increase it some more to, to uh, decrease the swelling. And I also have to elevate it too. Like, it's just like, it's just, a round of things that you just have to do. So you gotta elevate it, you gotta ice it, then you gotta walk on it, you know? So, <sighs> yes, we take it one day at a time. It's very challenging, but I'm somebody who's very determined and very motivated and push through whatever. Um, so, I'm really trying to push hard and fight through everything while going through this, while also being dependent at the same time, which is also challenging for me because I'm used to being independent, you know? Um, but yeah, so that's that. What else? Yeah, should anything else come to mind, I am just gonna turn the camera on like I always do and just give you a piece of what I'm at. Oh, I also got pictures from my surgery of the before and after picture of my new ACL. So the ACL is supposed to be like a thick band and mine's was completely like a string. Like, so it makes complete sense why my knee had its mind of its own and like shifting in different direction because there was like no, um, there was nothing stopping the knee, like um, preventing the knee to not go forward or wherever it feels like it wants to go and buckle up on me. So I do have the picture of that. So comment below. I wanna see if you wanna see the patella. Um, it's not like gruesome or anything like that. There's no blood involved. Um, but some people have weaker stomach than others, even though it doesn't have no blood that you see in there. So yeah, just comment below. I want to see if you guys want to see that part. Um, yeah, so again, when things come to mind, I am just going to turn the camera on and just talk about it. This is like my vloggery. <laughs> yeah, oh, I like that. My vloggery of this whole journey. And yeah, so mentally, physically, oh, another thing that I've been struggling with is appetite. I haven't had much of an appetite. And, um, I, and I can't sleep. Like, I, I can't sleep at night. Granted, I do have like work overnight shifts, but it's been like a good two weeks now, so I should have broke out of that habit in a way. But I have a hard time sleeping at night, and I think part of the reason is because I'm on the phone too. So I, I really need to discipline myself to not be on my phone quite as much, so I can allow my brain, my body to heal. Because you need to rest as well, you know. But yeah, so we covered that. Um, 
think I mentioned earlier about my back aching tremendously. Um, I did buy a body pillow. Um, it came to the point where I even started sleeping on my couch. Um, that definitely helped my back though. I'm not even gonna lie, that helped my back tremendously. I'm not sure why, but it helped my back because the lower part of my back. Every time I go to physical therapy, they know, they know now I need that heating pad. Oh, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and order one. So, okay, guys, on that note, um, this is all that's coming to mind right now. Again, um, my, this is my vloggery, so whenever something comes to mind again, I will turn on the camera and just vlog. Oh, that was another thing I did want to say. Look, look, I keep thinking about stuff. Right? So, okay, so, um, yeah, my energy was very low. Energy was very low, so. What is that already? I was feeling really weak. I think I said that already, but. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Like I said, if you want to see the pictures, um, comment below, I want to see. And if you're currently experiencing this, let's chat. Tell me how it's going for you or how it's been or how it was things to expect things not to expect even though all experiences are completely different but um yeah let me know uh chat don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to join i need to find a name that resonates with you and i to connect more my name is Miss Lovely Press, and I feel like everyone calls who has a lovely in their username or whatever they usually say, like Lovely Bane or something like that. So, uh, I want to find something that's unique and uh, you know, it's really catchy and stand out. So, we have to think about that and formulate that family, that community, and all that good stuff. So, it'll come. Just like the vloggery just literally popped into my mind. So I actually like that. So, um, yeah. I will, this time I'm for real, I will see you guys on the next, either next clip or next video. So, 